Hey everyone, here we are again, still in the north of Portugal. We are, are just arrived to a place called Pinhão. It belongs to the municipality of Alijó in the district of uh, Vila Real. And we just arrived here to the center of Alijó in uh, the train station. I just want to show you these uh, amazing tiles that you can see here. It's, um, it's known for the place where they produce the wine. So the tiles, it has something to do with uh, these places where they cultivate the grapes for the wine so this region is very well known for the Porto wine this region has a lot of mountains so they do the <coughs> plantations of the grape trees in those mountains and they have to put the terrain like a very I don't know how to say it but it doesn't uh, it's not planted like horizontally it, it they have to manage the terrain so they can stay like that so that the plants can stay there This is the, the train station. You can get the train from here to Porto. You can, you can get the train from here to Porto to Pinhão and you pass through um, Peso da Régua and then you go to Porto by train. But you also can do another thing. You can come by um, a boat and you can get your boat to Peso da Régua or you also can take your boat uh, from Porto to Pinhão and uh, there's the difference uh, in, in those kind of trips that you can, can take your uh, trip back to Porto or in your train or you can choose to take the bus so you choose the, the, the way that you want to come to this, uh, to this village I'm going to show you the train station. Oh, there's a train coming. So this is a very typical train because they don't have electricity here on the rails. Yeah, people are running because they thought that they catch the train from this side, but they have to catch the train from the other side. I like these wagons. They are very traditional. <coughs> the way the wagons are painted, the blue, the white and red. It must be a very interesting, it must be a very interesting travel through uh, here because most part of the, um, the way that you do by train you can go through the river so you can see uh, the river Douro all the way to Porto so you can make your trip to Regua, Peso da Regua or Pinhão by um, boat or you can just go down on train 
in one way or another you always see the river or you feel the river if you come by boat people were saying goodbye to me so this is an old an old typical train with fuel because it's been a long time that I don't see one of these kind of trains if you go to the south or to Lisbon you see you know they already electrified the trail so it's very funny to hear the kind of locomotive noise it's something that you don't listen often and this is the name of the village Pinhão I don't know if you can read it yeah so now that I just uh, arrived here I'm going for a small walk around through this village it's a little bit more touristic but uh, it's interest anyway and I'm going to try to find some nice places so I can show you and film you so I've been walking like uh, 10 minutes and it's a nice uh, place to visit also of course it has a little bit of uh, tourism but not that many and you don't feel the crowd so so many pressure you don't feel so many pressure about it but it's a very interesting place to visit it's a uh, very clean uh, it has uh, some gardens also and also have this beautiful bridge that I passed through when I was coming by car that I'm going to show you and of course the river that I'm going to show you also in some in an instant so you can see the boats over there they are smaller boats and the smaller boats can go further in the river but the bigger ones those that you like going to show you over there those are more difficult to pass well in fact it's not more difficult but it's impossible to pass because of the size so the bigger ones those that you can see over there right here yeah right here those are the ones that come from Porto and they pass through Peso da Regua and then they came to Pinhão and this is the Douro River and these are the smaller ones where you can get some tickets and come for a ride on your own I'm not pretty sure if they do the way up the river and then come back at the same boat because the what I read is that they put you to choose or you can come up the river and then you go by bus or you come by bus and then you go back by boat to Porto but there's a lot of offer you can choose which one it's uh, better for you but it's a it's a very beautiful village it's not very big and of course if you like uh, wine if you like wine it's the perfect uh, spot for you because they have places 
where you can choose what brand of wine you want to try and you can taste the wine and of course you can have your own bottles and take them home I'm going back again try to see the other part of the river maybe I'll try to go to next to the boats because it seems to be there a very good garden so every time I see stairs and I see straight places I always want to see where we're we going and this is not going to be an exception I think it's uh, the best part of these trips is to go where people usually don't go or the tourists and everything oh. it's very interesting because the the streets are very tight and neighbors they can see or they can talk each other from one balcony to another balcony it's like window to window look at this uh, amazing place where you can no 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 to Saddam Volta and like I was saying this is a, a nice place with a, a nice shadow so you can sit down and relax or drink your tea or read your book and there's another one now I can choose the left or the right we're gonna see what we have here oh yeah now from here I can show you what I was talking about the grape trees well there's the Sun I don't know if you can see it but I'm going to show from here so the grape trees are planted like horizontally in this direction through the mountain maybe you can see it from here if I hide the sun so you can see the plants from here and this is what you will see if you do the boat trip or the train trip you'll see all these mountains with grape trees planted like this horizontally that's how they cultivate the grape trees they dig and they put all the terrain horizontally so they can put the plants and they can stay like that funny they have a some kind of a football camp over there I'm going to go a little bit more up because I'm, I'm really curious to know how did they enter that uh, camp the football camp that they have here yes it seems like the entrance is from here yeah it's like a school no yeah it seems to be a school or a primary school Here 
we go again exercising Portugal it's always like this exercise and exercise yeah another football field in a basketball also I don't really know if this belongs to a school or not but I think it's for the community oh I wasn't expecting this look the beautiful view one two three ships and this that's the place I want to go because uh, I was planning to go there before filming this but like I said every time I see a stair or some tight street I want to go there and discover let's go down and see what we have near the river this is uh, one of the places that you can taste the wine and buy your bottles so you have the beauty of the river the green of the plants is everything very beautiful and you also have the wine what you could expect more than that now I appreciate a lot wine especially the red wine uh, but before it I didn't uh, like wine that much but then I learned to like the wine so if you are a wine lover why not do this trip and do what you like most travel and drink some wine some good wine some good wine now I can see the river We have the Quinta do Nuval wine shop. We have another restaurant. And let's try to see what we can find here near the river. So fresh. It comes a very calm wind, and you can feel the fresh from the air and from the water. And there's where the boats stop, and there's also a place where the boats stop. I'm going to sit down in one of those chairs and I'm going to relax a little bit before the sun goes down another thing that I found here and that I forgot to tell you is that they also have this kind of boats the typical Porto wine boat because these typical boats were the boats that they used to get the wine from this region to Porto to the famous Porto wine and now they don't transport the, um, the wine anymore now they do it in a more modern way but they use the boats to do some touristic trips so if you don't want to go in uh, one of those boats the big ones you can choose the smaller ones to the traditional ones
they have some music and some bars where you can have your beer if you don't like wine. And over there, that's the bridge that we used to, that I was filming before. And maybe this image you can see better the grape trees and the way they are planted horizontally I don't know how to say in English the process that they do I think it's called they dig the sand to put it in a horizontal way so that people can be there and walk and catch the grapes otherwise it will be impossible to catch the, the grapes to make the wine and that's why they use it on that particular way so they can work in September October the, the time that they take the grapes to do the wine a lot of people came to this region to work at that, that season yeah and this is the bigger ones Uh, like I said, it's a little bit more touristic than the place that I've been showing to you but uh, I was passing by and I didn't want to miss the chance to show you this place and how beautiful it is also and the fact that you can come for some wine taste and for a walk near the river and everything Okay, that house one of the things that amazes me a lot in this region it's the kind of uh, architecture that they have here sometimes weird but also beautiful this is the Casa do Douro Douro's house It's a nice place. If you come to this region, you should visit it. It's worth. Well, we were just uh, about to leave the village of uh, Pignon and we were passing by here and I found this uh, amazing view that I want to share with you. So you can see how do they plant the grape trees so this is like a mountain and then they plant it like this I think it has nothing to do with the flavor or the alcohol that the grapes um, have but it's just, it's just because of uh, that's the only possibility that they can uh, cultivate the grape trees here because this is all mountains all around amazing we are going to continue our trip and I hope you like the video of uh, Pignon it's also one of my favorites See you on the next video on Portugal somewhere.